on this USI snap machine. It's been long overdue. I actually bought the machine with the bad lock and the seller didn't tell me, but it's all good. That's part of vending, guys. It's a lot of downs and not as many ups, but people don't like to show you that. So today, right now, you guys are gonna learn how to change a lock. Let's do it. All right, so this is just me going ahead and taking off the old T-lock. It was pretty simple too. There's gonna be some screws when you're able to pop the T-lock open behind the T-lock handle. And you just wanna take those screws out. Um, all I needed was a screwdriver and like a monkey wrench because I didn't have like an Allen wrench. Got the old T-lock out. My new T-lock is here along with my new cylinder lock. There we go, I heard a click. So that means that cylinder lock is in there. When you hear that click, the cylinder lock is safe inside. As you can see, I pull on this key and it's not coming out. So now I have my keys, my cylinder lock is safe. And now I'm just gonna take this cylinder lock and put it right back in the hole that the old lock was in. Right in there. So I was able to get our T-lock and cylinder lock online. I actually just went on eBay and got them both. And it was pretty reasonable too. It was only like a total of like 60, 66 bucks with shipping included. So I mean, it was a very good deal. We were happy with that price. And, and now we feel happier about having a lock that is safe and that won't get broken into. And we are done, guys. This is our new T-lock. Got it all tightened in there. This collection still had a lot of snacks inside because uh, it was Christmas break. And the uh, warehouse was actually, the guys had about a week off for Christmas break. So um, we still had a lot of snacks inside during this collection, which we were okay with. So this is just us making sure that products weren't expired.